we often get question does architect has place in agile software development environment well this video is about the roles and responsibilities of architect in agile software development environment which is sometimes believed to be not relevant in agile by end of this video you will come to know how an architect can add value to agile development environment i'll be talking about following roles and responsibilities however before delving inside this, let's spend a minute on how the software development world to be before Agile. Essentially, we used to have software architect who was responsible for designing the architecture. He used to be the one who used to define and drive the rules of software implementation. He used to listen to client's requirement, does analysis and design, and finally produces a document called software architecture document, which the development team would take and implement. However, when working with Agile, the role of an architect significantly changes when we compare it with the traditional software architect role, because Agile teams are very independent. They just knows to deliver working software without any formal modeling and design. This is because Agile teams are driven by following Agile values. Now going into the details of these values is not the intent of this video. So I would like to skip uh, the details for now. However, to summarize uh, on high level and Agile development practices helps us in producing basically the high valued story stories faster and emphasizes that working software is much more important than things like processes, tools, documentations, etc., which essentially raises a question. If we do not have documentation for your architecture, then how do we visualize the architecture? To answer this, apparently architecture should be should be exposed through the software itself. Nothing separates architecture from design and implementation. They are all wrapped up rather together in the practices we use to produce the code. It does not mean that architecture planning and design is not required. Regardless of methodologies, you know, whatever methodologies we use, uh, it is still required. But what is important? The important is that the architects have to adapt to new ways of working in order to get along with and be more effective with agile teams. Now, why architect has to adapt? The reason behind this is that in agile project, architects must deal with, uh, you know, higher level of uncertainty, uh, frequent changes in requirement, much more stakeholder interactions, need to work closely with project manager, the scrum master and the team. Which means that instead of sitting down and working on the architecture document, agile architects spend more time in the war room where they can basically listen to what is going on in the team, suffer the team to keep the software development moving in right direction and mentor the team on the concepts that they may not be familiar with. But also the architect should keep in mind that they are by no means the first and the last word on your project. Instead, it's more like riding a wave and trying to steer the team in right direction. In a good agile team, the developers make the wave what you can do or what we can do as architect is influence using a variety of skills through various means. Now let's focus or let's look into a couple of roles and responsibilities uh, that architects should do in agile software development environment. The first is managing architectural runway, which is very, very, very important. The architectural runway provides the necessary technical foundation for developing and implementing new features. The idea is that little planning can avoid much waste and it can contribute to faster development and successful iteration. If you look at the graph on the right side, which I have drawn, but, uh, but not sure that how much it is making sense. However, the blue lines, uh, which shows the what in the iteration, what is going on in the current iteration, which is the nth iteration and the how part, which is in orange line, it shows the n plus one iteration. Now, architect should basically look or focus on also on n plus one iteration. Uh, you know, when they are in nth iteration, probably uh, they would be doing some uh, prototyping. Probably they should look at the dependencies of n plus one iteration, looking at the uh, risk, of, uh, you know, what risk you have it in the next iteration. The reason is uh, also 
that apparently it is simply isn't possible for everyone in the team to anticipate changes that may occur well outside the environment nor can individual teams uh, fully understand the entire system and avoid producing redundant or conflicting uh, designs and implementation now it can actually impact the next iteration so this is where the expertise of architect is required architect should build the architectural runway before the iteration begins the term basically architectural runway uh, from it from where it has you know uh, came uh, so to just to uh, just to tell that this is basically started as an analogy while observing the iteration burn down charts itself often uh, when there isn't enough architectural runway when team starts an iteration features committed in the iterations are at high risk so basically iteration is like an aeroplane needs enough runway to safely land now architects are responsible for creating this uh, runway embrace just enough uh, design so architect should work towards creating just enough upfront design follows mantra should follow mantra like bduf uh, which is nothing but no big design upfront yagni you ain't gonna use it it is said that significant source of waste in design is wasting time to predict about things that will probably never happen in traditional software development uh, the design sessions always come before the implementation and forcing the architect's vision over the application in agile or more precisely lean thinking we call this as design push so this is basically a push strategy where architects creates a design and pushes it to the development team agile says embrace the architecture while it is happening which is basically design pull architecture should evolve in the process of developing code encourage just enough upfront design which should be the way to communicate with the team embrace vertical architecture so as uh, a vertical architecture is nothing it's, it's basically something where you think about one story end to end and start implementing it basically progresses based on uh, the stories you do not think much about the entire application vertical architecture helps you to come up with just enough uh, design improve design via refactoring refactoring is one of the most important thing that uh, the agile team should be doing it every iteration you develop something with just enough design and next iteration you should come back refactor and make your code aligned to the design facilitating creation of architecture not enforcing it what agile principle says the best architecture uh, architectures requirements and design emerges from self organizing team so you have to guide mentor and persuade the team in the right direction breaking decision deadlock many times it happens that the team will come to consensus regarding an architectural design design decisions also sometime what happens is the team doesn't come to an agreement in these cases the architect should break the deadlock so that the team can move forward review code yes architect should involve in reviewing code it is again debatable question that in a self organizing team how much the code has to be reviewed sometime it could be a waste however architect should always monitor the code which is being uh, developed by the team architect should operate in all levels we say that architects sees the insight that the other members of the team don't see however you think that however uh, however or or i would say how do you think uh, that he gets this insight besides the obvious experience technical knowledge the architect should operate in a different world from rest of the team whereas they are largely consumed with the day to day task of writing and testing the software they should also spend time at all levels of the project from working with customer to helping to write stories to actual coding and testing in addition they interact with company's upper management and help with other projects this basically helps in understanding future works coming up with new ideas and all drive culture of quality what is culture of quality guys 
a successful team is the one that is built on a culture of quality where nobody cuts corner nobody checks in smelly code if there is a major flow in the code design it code uh, or design it won't pass unnoticed all are honest and open looking for best outcome of the entire team it is hard to build such team but it is possible firstly the architect should establish some rules in the beginning rules are not going to change over uh, time because the developer happens to not like them for example uh, or, or one example could be is the decision uh, to write unit test uh, another is having a code review before each check-in etc produce lightweight documentation Agile says working software is important than comprehensive documentation. However, it does not say that you should not create any documentation. You should write document, but only if someone needs to read them. Document could be anything as simple as some picture of a design in whiteboard or something written uh, down comprehensively in a Word document. But keep in mind, uh, guys, write it only when it is needed. Do not write because you want to follow some processes embrace changes guys let's face it we often get frustrated if some requirement changes in between the iteration as an architect we should embrace these changes because if something does not value to customer is not worth implementing so embrace it so to summarize i will just read through uh, through these lines for you uh, which says uh, not all architects are agile and only special agile developers can become agile architects. A good agile architect is defined by his attitude, understanding all the stakeholders, current and future, a big picture view, willingness to accept and adapt ideas from various sources, and acknowledging that people are more important than processes or tools. In other words, an agile architect is someone who follows the principles of agile architect, which has following golden rules, which says agile or which says value people communicate deliver quality embrace change plan it manage it less is always more model and document uh, in an agile fashion choose the right solution for the enterprise that's all for this video guys if it was useful then don't forget to like and subscribe and encourage me to create more such videos thank you